Welcome to the weekly report. South Africa is set to receive the bulk of its consignment of the COVID-19 vaccine this month, but political parties want a clearer plan of its distribution. The local health products regulatory body insists that the anti-parasite drug ivermectin is unsuitable for treating COVID-19. But the ivermectin interest group, that includes clinicians and public health specialists, are pushing for South Africa to pioneer the research into the anti-parasitic drug and COVID-19. However, it is being distributed for COVID-19 treatment in countries like India with some success. South Africa's growing coronavirus infections have forced government to adapt the lockdown regulations closing its land borders and restricting movement. The controversial WhatsApp privacy change has been described by a tech analyst as not much worse than what Google collects from users. According to the new terms, the messaging service will be allowed to share user data, including location and phone number, with its parent company, Facebook. WhatsApp is facing a backlash over the move, with users flocking to rivals Signal and Telegram. The ban on the sale of alcohol has yet again proven its burden on the healthcare system. A drastic drop in trauma cases were reported after its reinstatement. However, Labour Federation Pesatu says a more sustainable long-term solution is needed to address the corrosive effect of alcohol abuse while saving jobs. Mauritania's opposition is set to follow their Algerian counterparts in seeking to criminalize any normalization with the Israeli occupation regime. The National Rally for Reform and Development says it intends to submit a bill to Parliament. The move is in response to the U.S. successfully bribing and blackmailing countries to normalize ties, the latest being Morocco. And that's it for the weekly report. Until next time.